That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court three years ago. Yeah, I keep getting it for Christmas. <sighs> Did you get my car? I got it, thank you. And how is Officer Stewart? The one who was first to see my basement. Stewart's fine. Emotional problems out here. Do you have any problems, Will? No. No, of course you don't. I'm glad you came. My callers are mostly clinical psychologists from Cornfield University somewhere. Second raters, the lot. Dr. Bloom showed me your article on surgical addiction in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry. And? Very interesting. Even to a layman. I want you to help me, Dr. Lecter. Yes. I thought so. It's about Atlanta and Birmingham. Yes? You read about it? In the papers. I don't tear out the articles. I wouldn't want them to think I was dwelling on anything more than you You want to know how he's choosing them, don't you? I thought you might have some ideas. Why should I tell you? You get to see the file in this case. And there's another reason. Pray tell. I thought you might be curious to see if you're smarter than the person I'm looking for. Then by implication, you think you're smarter than me since you caught me. No. I know that I'm not smarter than you. Then how did you catch me, Will? You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane. You are very tan, Will. Your hands are rough. They don't look like cop's hands anymore. And that shaving lotion is something a child would select. But there's a ship on the bottle, doesn't it? Don't think you can persuade me with appeals to my intellectual vanity. I don't think I'll persuade you at all. You'll either do it or you won't. Besides, we have Dr. Bloom working on it, and he's the best. Do you have the file with you? Yes. Pictures? Yes. Let me have them, and I might consider it. No. Dream much, Will. Goodbye, Dr. Lecter. You haven't threatened to take away my books yet. Let me have the file and I'll tell you what I think.